this is the instruction video of uh, the first example on how to use QGIS in new map. Um, this exercise uh, assumes that you have successfully installed QGIS and new map on your system. We start by opening QGIS uh, from the start menu if you have a Windows computer here, QGIS desktop. Um, I have this already uh, open here. And if you have UMAP successfully installed, you will see UMAP in the menu bar up here. To do this exercise, we need some data and we will actually follow the um, tutorial found in the UMAP tutorial website, uh, first QIS and UMAP activity where you will examine to cast uh, uh, shadows and look at shadow patterns for pedestrian in Gothenburg, Sweden. Before we start this exercise, we need to download uh, some data um, over Gothenburg, Sweden. So we just click on this link here in the tutorial and we get a file here, which is a zip file. So you need to extract this zip file and easiest way is to just to extract all here in your explorer window. I will um, put this data on the desktop so I can easily find it. Like this. Okay, so go back to QGIS and now we're going to add our first data set. One way to open and a data set is to add a layer and we're going to use some raster layers in this case. So we go to add raster layer and point to the data that we just extracted, which we have here. And we first, we're going to look at the data called DSM, KR big TIFF. So we open this data and press add. Here we now have a digital surface model where each pixel in this data set is representing in a height. You can also see that we have now a coordinate system down here to the right, which is EPSG 3007. So the project now in QGIS have inherited the coordinate system that was coming with this raster file. Next step would be to add another data set, which is another raster data set. So add raster data. This time we're going to uh, open the data set CDSM KR big and press open and add. In this uh, data set is a data set showing where, where we have trees in this uh, area. But what you can see here when we open this is that we have a question mark here. Um, this means that the layer has no coordinate reference system set. So we need to set this before we continue. So you click on the question mark and we're going to use the same coordinate system as before as the first data set. So it's 3007. If this doesn't pop up here, you can always search for your coordinate system and then it shows up. So here you now have the uh, data set in the correct uh, coordinate system. And what you can see here now is this is the layer panel. You can see that we have two data set uh, covered. And the order of this is the one that shows on the top is the one that you can see. So if I drag this below, you see the digital surface model and so on. Um, what we can also do is to change colors and settings on how these uh, data set looks like and we will do this with a CDSM, C stands for canopy. So you right click on your layer and go to properties. Here is the 
or the properties of this layer. And we first go uh, to the symbology tab. And here you can change the color of the data set and such. So we will go to and use a single pseudo color, single band pseudo color. Take green maybe because this is what uh, vegetation usually are colored like. And we click apply. We also want to show the buildings in between the, the, the vegetation. So you can also go to the transparency tab and add a no data, additional no data value of zero and then click apply. This means that zero values will not be displayed at any color. This means that you now can see both the the digital surface model of the ground and buildings, and you can also see the trees. So now let's do our first UMAP exercise by casting some shadows. We're going to use the um, tool called Daily Shadow Patterns, which is found here on the processor solar radiation daily, daily shadow patterns. Here, we first going to include the digital surface model. And in this first example, we are not going to use the vegetation. Uh, and we want to cast the shadows for uh, one whole day. We're going to use the summer solstice, 21st of June, 2020. We're going to cast one shadow every 30 minutes. We have daylight savings time here in Sweden, so we're going to use this. And the UTC offset is one hour from um, Greenwich Mean Time. Let's select an output folder. And in this case, I have created a um, folder called daily shading on my computer. In here, we're going to create a number of different um, raster data sets in different uh, runs of daily shading. So we, I'm going to create a, an additional folder and I'm going to call this June 21 buildings. And this is where I'm going to save the data. And I can also click in this add result to project. This means that we're directly going to see some uh, new generated raster data when the model is run. And now we can click run. Now the model is working. And when it's done, it should say shadow grids successfully generated. Click OK. And you can close this. What you see here now is a new layer that has come up in your data frame, which is called Shadow Fraction on 2020 um, This data set is shown with a transparency because we also want to see the layer behind this. So what you can do is that you can tick off your other layers like this and then you see only the shadow patterns generated so this is the shadow fraction so between zero and one for the day of june 21st in sweden what you can do is that you can now change this opacity because you would like would like to compare it to other data sets later on. So we can go into properties. Here you see the global opacity. Set that to 100% instead. Apply and OK. This means when you now tick in, for example, the DSM, you don't see the DSM at all because now the shadow fraction map is covering the whole image. Next run we would like to do is to include vegetation. So we go to UMAP and the same preprocessor, solar radiation, daily shadow pattern. We include the DSM as the ground building and ground DSM. This time we tick in 
use vegetation DSM and use the CDSM. We leave everything else as it was before, like this. But now we also change the folder of where you save the data to a new folder where, which we call June 21 Buildings Vegetation. Save the data here and select folder. Add result to project and click run. Now this is finished and we can keep click close. And if we just click, so we only see the shadow fractions that was created now, you can see that you can also see the shadows that are generated under the trees here. Um, to be able um, to compare the two data sets, you can go to properties and also change the opacity. What you also can do is to change the name of this data set so you remember that this includes vegetation, add vegetation like this of the name in the source and click OK. So now you can tick in both layers and then just switch between them and see the difference of shadow patterns on ground. I will stop the video here and you can go on and do some more examples of shadow casting by concluding this tutorial, a first QGIS and UMAP activity uh, on our tutorial website. Mm -hmm.